We'll talk about uh, eight things that you can do to your wife, to your spouse to make her happy. Now this video is only for the brothers. This video uh, is not for the sisters. This video only for the brothers. Uh, so I'm talking to you brother how to make your wife happy uh, in, in bed. And this is something very, very important because uh, intimacy is really, really, really important. A lot of the Muslim family, they lack in that. They, they struggle to become intimate. We start by praising Allah Azza wa Jal in Alhamdulillah Nahmaduhu wa Nutubu ilay min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati amalina man yahdillahu fala mudillalah wa man yudli fala hadiyalah wa nashadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah wa nashadu anna muhammadan abdu rasulu We ask Allah Azza wa Jal Allahumma inna nas'aluka ilma nafa wa awdubika min al-ilmi illa yabuka We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to benefit us from knowledge that will benefit us and we seek refuge in Allah from knowledge that will not benefit us. Eight things that you can do, dear brothers and sisters, to make your wife happy. Number one is very common sense, very kind of cliche to say, but I have to say it, which is ask her, ask her if she is happy with the with the sex now, now this video it will be a little bit graphic uh, so i apologize if i'm using some word you might not like might feel uncomfortable but uh, this is something we need to talk about so i need to um, mention those words so number one ask her if she is happy with the sex that you had we do not do that unfortunately men we do not do that we just assume she's happy we just assume that everything is fine i am fine i enjoyed it i loved it she must have loved it too that is not the case that is not the case ask her uh, what is was it satisfactory was she happy was it something she can or you can improve next time it could be even her ask her so number two is foreplay foreplay dear my sisters is also something we miss a lot men we tend to jump on her on the woman right away the moment we find her attractive or the moment we want to have intercourse sexual intercourse we jump on her and we assume that she is okay with that you know because man we need to get this done right away so we do not wait for her to get ready so foreplay will make it very very uh, you know uh, effective and make her very happy too because she will then be ready when you are doing foreplay dear my sisters she is emotionally and physically getting ready sometimes she can even reach to a climax okay without even having you penetrating in her believe it or not she can reach to a climax without you even doing anything just because of the foreplay so foreplay can really make her uh, you know reach to a climax sometimes not all the, all the time but it is something very important that this will uh, prepare her for the uh, for emotion uh, emotionally and also physically so this is why it is very important rasulullah sallallahu he used to do it so we need to follow his sunnah now i'm going to be mentioning you actually a hadith about um about uh, anal sex but we'll, we'll talk about that in a, in a second uh, we'll, we'll do that later number three is dear my sister is very very important to make her happy um no anal sex okay very very clear i do not want you to um, think that this is something um, you know you can always take advantage from her that you can just penetrate wherever you want Rasulullah he said this hadith is talking about a man who inna ladina yatim ratu fi duburiha la yanzurullah ilayhi. This is talking about a man who penetrates from the back of a woman, in other words, uh, anal sex, and fi duburiha from the back. And this man, Allah will not la yanzurullah ilayhi. Allah will not look at this man. So, anal sex, big no. Don't do it. On top of that, is actually can hurt her. Uh, women I mean we are not you know ready we are not designed we are not fashioned by Allah Zawajal, by our creator to receive sexual pleasure, uh, pleasure from our back the anal we are not fashioned we are not designed for it 
people are so evil they still allow it to happen and they enjoy it in their head not physically they enjoy the love the fact that somebody is penetrating from my back so they're the kind of like oh i love it but in reality it is it is very hurtful the the reason they say i will love it is because it's in their head in the evil head okay there's no pleasure in it to allow it there's no pleasure in it i can tell you um so no anal sex dear and sisters um it can actually make her very upset so don't do it number um four is going to be give her be uh, give her before you take from her which basically means you need to invest your energy and time making her happy first see women are not like men they don't feel the pleasure when you penetrate okay when you have sex that moment is not the only moment or this is not how she receives pleasure sexual pleasure the way she receives it, it is through through uh, foreplay as i said at the beginning you know foreplay is very important then it reaches to the point where she is enjoying you uh, stimulating her then she also enjoys when you are penetrating into her she also enjoys when you talk to her sexually like when during the intercourse you you tell her how beautiful she is things like that so it, for a woman it's a combination of few things but for the man it's just one thing wallahi for men for us it's one thing just penetrate the have sex get it done with we lo- we love it that's it done so women for them to be really happy you need to invest your time and energy so give her first okay invest in her first make sure that she is loving it okay don't take it from her yet give it to her give it to her give it to her and she will be like and you will notice that she is loving it and she is just so happy she is, she is satisfied then you go ahead and take which is you penetrate and then you enjoy yourself too at the same time she would love it that you took so long to make her happy first these things are very very important number 4 uh, number 5 is you stay fit yourself and attractive very very important men once they get married they be, they grow this big belly bare belly and they don't take care of themselves they don't properly groom they don't use uh, you know fragrance they don't use siwak they smell bad and so the woman she is not happy with that man you cannot make her happy on bed if you are not taking care of yourself i mean she will still have sex with you but think about it if she is not attracted to you and then everything you do she will be like oh, whatever yeah just do it and and get it done with i'm not loving it anyway so you have to make her uh you have to make yourself very attractive in her eyes then she will be like man i love it the moment he touches me i start to melt <laughs> so this is very very important you take care of yourself and in islam allah azawajal he loves a strong believer than he loves a weak believer okay even though kullum uh, khair even though all of them are good but the reason allah loves a strong believer could also be because you know your wife will enjoy you maybe that's why he loves you allah loves you to be strong physically fit uh, number 6 is uh, finish late don't just go into her and then you know start um, doing it and uh, and then you you're out you know men men are like i'm ready get in get out that's it i'm done don't do it dear brothers sisters this is very selfish finish late means wait 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 until you make her happy and then you finish yourself so again let her enjoy first finish late don't just go inside and come into her and then you'll go like oh i'm happy i'm done don't do that uh, spanola that is not something acceptable for that for her number 7 uh, is very important to uh, assure her verbally in the end after you let's say have this intercourse then you tell her how much you enjoyed it because then you are um, giving her reason to be motivated next time because a lot of the time men will have sex because they they have this urge in them and so they don't really care you know they don't really care if the woman is 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 some someone he will sleep with the next time i mean i'm talking about the wife or he will not sleep with her i mean because he doesn't have any other option so she doesn't 
uh, you know have any anywhere else to go so what she will do uh, he will do is he will always come back to the wife but if you assure her verbally if you tell her you enjoyed it that she is beautiful that you loved it that next time maybe you can make it better you know if you uh, continuously tell her uh, those things then she will be loving it not only that she will be happy and content with the sex itself but then at the end she will be happy that you told her that you enjoyed the sex and that she is beautiful and that she is the perfect match so do that this, this is also very very important um, and then number eight last point I want to mention ask if she is ready before it started as I said in the beginning don't just start right away ask her are you ready is it a day is it a good day are you going through your period um, are you physically emotionally ready you know are are you desiring are you do you want it do you desire it you know ask her before you start it don't just jump don't don't just assume because wallahi uh, this is gonna be a, a, a an abuse on your part if you don't ask her if she is not ready and you're forcing it down on her that will be an abusive physical abuse wallahi to tell you um, the least that will be a physical abuse uh, now I want to mention to you one very important point uh, uh, this is a hadith Rasulullah he mentioned one of the worst people on earth uh, would be a man inna min sharin nasi inda Allahi manzilatun yawmul qiyamah rajulu yufdi ilal mar'ati wa tufdi ilayhi summa yunsharu sarha sahih al-muslim Abu uh, Sayyid al-Khudri he narrated this hadith the Prophet he said the worst among you Okay, the worst among you is a man who would have sexual intercourse with his wife and then during the daytime when he goes out, when he talks to his friends, you know, families, he tells them everything. Okay, we have these people, sometimes it's not we initiate that kind of conversation, but sometimes that the other person, the, your relative, your friend might ask you, hey, are you happy with her sexually? What happened to you last time? I mean... Uh, you know there are a lot of evil people very very evil these people are very evil they will ask you personal questions do not tell them anything because then you will be one of the worst okay, one of the worst uh, you will become the worst of the worst don't reveal anything about your private life uh, in the western culture we see that happen all the time they are very open about sex so they talk about they ask you oh so your boyfriend uh, how was it Ah, she, he was okay. He was making me happy. Wallahi, this is fitna. This is how Western world they talk about sex. We are not allowed. We are supposed to be shy. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll uh, next time talk about the woman. Uh, leave a comment. And inshallah, I'll see you soon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.